All right, here we go. Let's go, doggies. That was a, that was an attempt at a hyperlapse from the uh, DJI Pocket 3. We've got it uh, extended out on a pole. Maybe, you know, I can still uh, just about reach it. And we got face tracking on. We've got me stuck down or up here in this quadrant. We're out today because, uh, well, it's Black Friday. So, you know, we're going to go somewhere where people probably aren't. And one of my favorite places is the Chumna Park. Take a look around, see what's up. On our way, we're gonna crack off some shots with the, uh, in fact, we're gonna start with this area right here. Come here. Pull off some shots. We got the X-Pro3 1680 F4. We're shooting with Leica Like again. Uh, this is a Mark Adams recipe. I'm gonna, I'm kind of placing my favorites in order on the X-Pro3. And so far we've got Number one is Kodachrome. Number two is the M10 Monochrome, which is black and white. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna be my third one. The reason is because it's like Provia with a, with a major punch to it. It's just wonderful. So anyways, we're gonna get off to some photography now. Go for a little walk. We're not too far from it. See you soon. These are called Thule's. Uh, they grow natively here in uh, the Tri-Cities area. They, the Chamnapum and the Wamnapum use those to create mats that uh, they put on their, uh, on their longhouses for the wind protection, shade protection. How's the audio working? We got any audio going on? You know the the Pocket 3, even though it's a little bigger than the Pocket 2, you do notice the size difference, but I don't notice the weight difference. Uh, I've got a, a whole setup I'll do in another episode that I'm working on, my whole vlog setup. And uh, so stay tuned for that. All right, we're gonna drop, drop down into the park. Okay. Try and make note, all these spots with really big trees is likely where a farm where a shed could be, could have been. There's old roads, still there. Yeah, so that's all farmland right there. Yeah, I've taken the time to dig out old maps, 1917. And there were six, eight, I don't know at least a dozen farms in this area and we're going to take a look at where they might have been take a look at the trails get down by the river and get set to do some photography thanks so much for coming and uh, here we go Okay, so that about does it here. We're gonna crank up the like alike and we're gonna hit these blues. Gonna come up the come up the Yakima and head home. Uh, met the the trail people, they have an event going on here, which is really great. So anyways, we're gonna hightail it and uh, thanks for coming. We'll see you next time.